Hello, Speed Gaming. Welcome to the SG Daily Link to the Past Randomizer Race. Uh, today we've got an open boots randomizer match between Big Toby 1982 and Logic. My name is Lucy and Greeth. I'll be commentating tonight with Jinxie Girl. How are you doing tonight? Doing good. Excited to see an anim an animizer. An animizer. It's been a bit for me. Yeah, animizer's always got a lot of uh, potential for chaos and hijinks, so should be a lot of fun. For those unfamiliar with the mode, joining us for the first time, Open Boots Animizer. The game state is open, so you can choose. You, can, you skip the standard opening escape with Zelda. You can choose to start from the Sanctuary or Link's House right from the get go. Uh, boots means that both players start with the Pegasus boots, means they can go fast. And Animizer, the big one in this game mode. Uh, the enemies are randomized, so not only is the treasure randomized, the enemies are randomized. So you can see something like, um, uh, uh pokies in, um, out and about in the, in the field. So a like, whole lot of, uh, potential. Yeah, even though we are starting with the boots, we are not uh, starting with the swords, so our runners are going to have to be a little careful when they are running around here in the early game, but I'm hoping that we are not too long without a sword, although we do enjoy a good trolley seed. Always. It's always good to see trolley seeds when you're not playing them. Very much a uh, rules for the not for me kind of situation. Exactly. Kirby fan hoping for a helicopter there in Skull Woods. It's always the dream. It's funny because I hate Mothula and Skull Woods, but when I play Animizer, I just want Mothula and Skull Woods. <laughs> so bad. Yeah, as, Mo Mo as we all know, Mothula is not the true boss of Skull Woods, it's Mothula's broom. And in that case, better the devil you know than the one you don't know. Very, very true. Looks like we'll be getting underway here shortly. I'm just waiting for the last few runners to ready up, get this race underway. I think we're close to getting going here. Yep, okay, we're starting. Hey, there we go. All right, Lynx House with a baby shield. Not super exciting, but hey, it's a shield, right? All right, so both players starting at Lynx House. We got uh, fun little chains, or uh, spikes. Wow, Logic being bold heading over towards the Eastern Palace area. Gonna check out Saha, possibly go into Eastern. We don't know. It's Madman over there. Oh, Bemos right there at Hyrule Castle. Alright, let's see what Logic is rewarded with. Nothing, unfortunately, but it's a nice opening move. Uh, very bold, offbeat. I mean, if there was something promising there, it definitely would have been a nice head start to the game. Eastern Palace tends to be a little bit later in the exploration. We do get a blue mail off the uncle as uh, Big Toby heading towards the Hyrule Castle area off the start. We have Logic starting over at Sanctuary, green pendant on Hera, blue pendant on Eastern Palace, and a crystal over at Desert. All right, looks like Toby's going to be making his way to Sanctuary. Ooh, Logic says no thank you to those bonk rocks. Well, these enemies are already not agreeing with our poor runners here as Logic misses that throw on that sign for that 
tree pool. It looks like Toby changes his mind going to head back to Eastern Palace or uh, back to Hyrule Castle again. We just have a full heart on the Lumberjack. Won't be singing Aga 1 for that. Um, I think Toby's getting some more magic, maybe? I don't know what's happening with Toby. Neither do I. Maybe he thought he didn't check uncle. You got him, bud. Don't worry, un uncle's not going anywhere anyway. Lost with with 50 bucks. Logic was gonna leave it behind, changes his mind, gonna pick that up. We do need some money in early Kakariko for that bottle vendor. Gotta save up 100 bucks. Pretty easy to get to between uh, Blind's Hut and Cackwell, but picking it up on the way is always a uh, good idea. Looks like Toby's going for those bonk rocks that Logic uh, skipped over. Oh, and of course a roller right there in Lost Woods. Gonna get a save and quit from Logic as there is no way to get around that other than walking all the way back around by the Lumberjack. And that's just gross. Yeah, those crystal rollers pack a wallop. Five arrow drop from the tree pool there for Big Toby. Also gonna see that full heart on Lumberjack. Probably mark that off of the tracker. We don't need to do Aga for that item. I mean, you can, but nobody really wants to. Logic remembering that box box check, gonna head over towards Kakariko to finish their exploration over there. Oh, we did have a bush crab there hiding over by the lumberjack. That's one thing that, you know, you tend to take for granted when you're playing the regular game. Those bush crabs can sometimes be very, very useful throwing out bombs or money or, you know, a quick health refill. You don't have that uh, luxury in Enemizer. Or apparently the luxury of items for our poor tracker to mark. Our tracker today being the wonderful Robs. Make sure you give some thanks to them. 300 bucks from the back of Blinds Hut. Money's not gonna be a problem here in the early game as we head over to Kakariko Well. Big Toby about to run into that big old spike down there. Oh, he's chancing, oh, okay. All right, let's see if there's anything here in Kakariko Well. Getting some life early on, that is pretty nice. We have seen some rogue bemos as well as some awful crystal rollers uh, hanging out in the overworld. So life is very uh, nice to have in the back pocket. Not this much though. We do want to see some items here. Cack well also uh, shooting blanks here as well as blinds hut. Let's see if our bottle vendor has anything more to offer. Nope. Um, what's the, what's the name of the enemy, the, um, Dark World Overworld enemy that, uh, hops around as it was at Popo's? Uh, it sounds good to me. That's what we can go with. Or damn, just with more money. Do we have any items in this game? Hey, there's a Bombos in the back of the chicken hut. That we can't use. Yet. At least Rob's gets to do something. I was feeling really bad for them. Yes, yeah, so you've, you've heard of swordless seeds. This is going to be an itemless seed. Yeah, this Kakariko is painful. I definitely agree. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Hook shot at the dam. All right. Now we're getting somewhere. We can check the library as well as get that item. Can't get anything off Sick Kit as we do not have a bottle yet, but still nice to kind of know maybe something, eh, but not today. Let's see what mini Moldarm Cave has for us. Oh, and another crystal roller. Um, if you actually throw that fish into the water, it will give you some useful items like, uh, I think, bombs, arrows, a couple, a couple dollars. So yeah, if you ever see a fish just chilling out over there by the mini Moldarm Cave, go ahead, snatch it up, throw it into the water, and receive your gift. It is a secret to everyone. Oh, we had three fours of a uh, vanilla Moldarm Cave. 
A little disappointed that there were actual chickens in the chicken hunt. Oh my goodness. Yep. You're going to have to stun him and bomb him. That's unfortunate. Something you don't think about when you're playing Enemizer is sometimes you have to kill enemies with weapons, and we don't have those yet. This early game is rough. Yeah, a lot of suffering here. Although, uh, I guess Rob can call it like a half day at the office. Gron hiding all the items. I feel like this is playing out like a plando, but uh, it's not. This is this is actually our daily. A thief over there heading towards Ice Rod Cave, which it's so nice in this mode because you can kill them. Yeah, sweet, sweet justice. Now, are we going to have a water walk set up? We do have those boots. Uh, looks like Big Toby's going to go for it. Logic walking past that fish, unfortunately. Doesn't really need anything. Pretty well versed on bombs, money, and arrows, so not a big deal. Just kind of fun to do. All kinds of fish hanging out. And, of course, a thief here now. I'm all about a good water walk. However, in Enemizer, you don't know what's coming at you. So, oh, yeah, an Octara. And just, you know, just walking on water, all casual like. It's cool. Looks, looks like the guard also set up a water walk. Mm -hmm. Oh, losing that water walk because we had a heart refill there in the uh, pyramid. Uh, in the, uh, Waterfall Fairy, unfortunately, that is a do not pass go, do not... Why didn't you check that ledge there for me, Toby? Uh, yeah, as soon as you get off the refill there, it is the same as being hit. You are taken out of your fake flippers or your water walk, and you are just basically swimming. All right, so Big Toby's going to make his way over to Kakariko. Meanwhile, I think Logic would just have, uh, what, Gina and... Eastern Palace left, right? Yep. Yeah, there's not very much we can do here um, other than Eastern. Can't get into desert. Can't even get to the mountain. So I'm assuming we're going to find a glove or a flute over in Eastern Palace. Something. Or possibly two swords and, you know, a lamp and have to go do Aga. Who knows? Stranger things have happened. Oh, that would be wonderful to see two swords and a lamp in that uh, Eastern. Hylia Island with our second meal upgrade. Who's Logic playing? Is that Breath of the Wild Zelda for uh, his sprite? Uh, possibly. I'm not really sure. There's so many new ones that I, I have yet to go through. Oh! Oh, my goodness. oh that is very unfortunate for Toby. That is very unfortunate. Uh, and that's not even a, that's not even something you could like look back and say, "Oh, I could have done this differently." That's just bad luck. That's extremely bad luck. It's definitely not in logic, but that could definitely save an Aga Tower climb. So, I mean, that's one of the places you kind of want to see something out of logic because then you know, okay, it's the flippers, and once you know you negate the flippers, then it completely changes how you route the game. Especially in, nope, that's not the way you need to go. There you go. Oh, and Logic has exactly 500 rupees. How about that? Yeah, keeping in Logic is really important as long as you don't understand Logic. Finding that Moon Pearl in the Waterfall Fairy, the only thing you need to get that other than, no, you don't even need a glove, is just the flippers. So. I, that's definitely well. Vanilla flippers. Well, there you go. Oh, what a seat we've got! That's something. However, they are still out of logic because now we need a glove to put those flippers into logic. Oh, right, right, right. I hit that backwards in my head. 
But the moon pearls still not in logic, but once we get the glove, both of those items will be in logic. So you only need flippers for the for the uh, moon pearl to be. But getting flippers there, you now need the glove. Obviously. I definitely think that is Breath of the Wild Zelda. For sure. That's right. I see once someone made it known to me that uh, Neil Peart was a uh, sprite for Rando, like I've gone with that and not looked back. I've been the shy guy since it came out, and I refuse to be anything else. If anyone knows what I'm talking about when I say Neil Peart, uh, fantastic. Let's talk Rush later. Oh yeah, Toby showing us we do have Eastern our uh, Hyrule Castle that we can also do with bombs. Painful. The best. We do have that hookshot going to make Eastern a little bit more pleasant to navigate. Oh, that's a rarely seen enemy. It is my favorite enemy in the game that never made it to the game. There's the flute. I called it. That gives us access up to the mountain. Not very much access towards Hera, but that does give us access over to Paradox Cave, Spiral Cave. And take a look at the floating island. Um, who knows what we're gonna find over there. I'm assuming it's probably gonna be, you know, a glove or a hammer or something. Something silly. Really big key, gonna get to check that big chest. Now moving on, we are not going to be in logic as there are dark rooms, but Eastern Palace dark rooms don't really count, right? So I'm pretty sure we're gonna see logic go a little further. Maybe not, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, he's going for it. Well, I, I assume at this point something major is gonna be up the mountain. Yeah, I mean, I, I definitely want to say that there's at least a glove here in Zelda Cell or a glove up on the mountain to get everything in logic, because I feel like that, that Moon Pearl is going to be pretty early in the logic. Oh, so a bomb didn't kill that guy. That's horrifying. Just five bucks. So escape main, not very exciting. We're gonna need Toby to head over towards uh, Eastern Palace. Start. Oh, I just there. I just realized we're talking about uh, how easy Eastern Dark is, but like with Enemizer, yeah, all bets are off on what you're gonna find in the dark. Yeah, I don't. I don't even know why I said that because I never even attempt dark rooms in. Uh, Animizer, I will rarely even do the uncle return in Animizer because it's, I mean, spikes are notorious for being in small passageways because of course they are. And, you know, even just something as silly as, you know, a Helma, a mini Helma, those things are fast. Like it's, yeah, I typically don't take that chance in Animizer. Yeah, meanwhile, to oh, Toby may pass the Hinox. Very good. Now, going to the back of Escape in Enemizer with no light source, that is bold. Oh, let's see if there's a thief back there. I see uh, some arrows flying around. I'd assume Logic's first check is going to be the mountain, but we could see an Agina check here super quick. Yeah, Agina would... Okay, never mind, we're going to the mountain. But Agina wouldn't be a bad choice. Logic saying no thank you to that old man rescue. I have found that typically in 
and a miser, you do kind of get blessed with a lamp rather early. Oh my gosh, look at look at the sewer room. No, thank you. Nope. I don't want any of that nonsense. Did Toby get Dark Cross, or did you skip right past it? I did not see them open a chest, so I don't know if they just couldn't make it to it. Oh, it was a heart piece. Rob's got it. Very good. Thank you, Rob's. Oh, kudos for making it that far. Uh, that was no easy feat. Getting our first look into Paradox Cave over on Logic's side. Rob going to give us save and quit. Probably head over towards the Eastern Palace area. Oh man, logic down to two bombs. Very nice. One bomb oh. make it count, bud. There's, There's our glove. Hey, and with some uh, cash there. Wow, a lot of cash there. And um, there is a shop down at the bottom of Paradox Cave. So hopefully... Is there bombs there? I know there's like a red potion. Oh, you have to yeah, bomb, bomb it to get to it. <laughs> Never mind. And you, you never realize how important bombs are until you absolutely need them. I'm feeling a Gina at this point. So we still don't have Dark World access. No. There's a King of Somalia up on the uh, mountain uh, ledge, though. On that floating isle. That's unfortunate, because as soon as you get that access, you're going to want to grab it, regardless of if you can clear Turtle Rock at the time. So that might mean an extra trip up the mountains, but Samaria is pretty important. Maybe we'll get uh, mitts here in uh, Sparrow Cave. Nope. I feel like Spec Rock um, might have something for us. Loves mean the moon pearls in logic. Yep. So everything's uh, back in back in place. Oh, back of escape. Yes, back of escape is in logic with the with the gloves. Bug net on spec rock and inside spec rock we have a full heart. Save and quit. Let's go check out Kina. There's that flute for Big Toby is going to continue their progression through Eastern Palace. I would like to see Big Toby get through these dark rooms. I feel like Toby's gonna he's he's gonna go for it. He's been bold so far. He made it through most of Back of Escape, so maybe he can succeed where Logic did not. I feel like we're gonna pull a lamp here in either Back of Escape or Agina. Almost have to. Oh, I was about to. Uh, <laughs> oh, he's just oh, getting man. harassed. That's awful. I can't even kill them or stun them. Oh, this is this is horrible. This is the beauty of Venomizer. There's our mitts. Titan's mitts. Wow. I, I did not see that one coming. Alright, so that means we've got our Dark World access. It's actually probably better that Toby did not make it through to the back of Escape because Toby needs to uh, get to the Waterfall Fairy and all of those things. And I feel like the Titan's 
would really take him away from that moon probe. Maybe not. I don't know. No, maybe not. That doesn't make sense. I don't know what I'm talking about. Oh, he made it! Very nice. We have... Oh my gosh. It is like the seed of the mini Helmas. There's a sword! Alright. Alright, Big Toby finds our first sword of the game. Which will definitely make life a lot easier. Oh, Big Toby! Big Toby's going... Oh, okay, he's getting the fairies. Okay, we have a red pendant over at Misery Mire and uh, Swamp Palace. Looked like we had another pendant at, um, is it Skull Woods? Hey, that was oh, fast. good lord. Oh my god. That's unfortunate. Well, at least you can see these enemies. They're not invisible, right? I guess uh, that's something. Oh, he's going for it. Oh yeah, you got to. He's got the key. You just gotta stun enough of them to get to the door. He got it. Very nicely done. Yeah, and Anomizer Eastern Palace is not built locked. I mean it could be what what you doing, bud? Uh, no, this is just an open boots animizer. Okay, we had an early big key and a map so far in Thieves Town. We have Toby heading on their way back to see which um, boss we have. I assume the bosses are included in the animizer. Um, however, you can check and see which boss you're actually going to face with the uh, compass. This is also a pendant dungeon, I just realized. Didn't see Toby. Check it, yeah. I think Skull might be the other pendant, but don't quote me on that. Hey, there's a helmet. I was going for it? Well, yeah, you can get him with bombs. I don't yeah, know if he has it. enough bombs, but yeah, you can do it. Yeah, that was more, that was more my point. I mean, you walked all the way back here, you may as well try, right? I don't think Bombos is going to do it. Boss and Eastern is still below, logic-wise. Mm, I don't think. No, there's no bow and logic and anonymizer for Eastern. Yeah, because there's no Red Igor, and uh, well, I guess you can kill Armos with a lot of weapons. I mean, he has a boomerang. Or no, Logic has a boomerang. Oh yeah, bow is not required for Armos. You can kill Armos with a selection of things. The the bow is required for the Red Igor. Now granted, that bow makes Armos a whole lot easier, but... I mean, probably for the best anyway, because it was a pendant dungeon at Eastern, so... You know. Getting a look at our dig game as Big Toby is activating that flute, probably gonna head up the mountain just like... Hey, speaking, speaking of bows, yeah. Good, a good jinx there. My name. Man, Big Toby has zero fear of Animizer Dark Rooms. I, I applaud that. I don't think either runner knows that if you get the compass and you bring up the map in the dungeon, it tells you what boss you're fighting. Because Logic didn't check in Eastern, I don't believe, and neither did Toby. And uh, Logic got the compass in Easttown and did not check either. Oh yeah, because if it's not blind in Easttown, you can really fast track that dungeon. Yeah. Yep. 
depending. Of course. Yeah, obviously it was trying to X then, obviously you're out of luck anyway. Hey, we get our first bottle from the old man. That opens up Sick Kid. You know what? At this point, I hope we don't find a lantern. Getting our first look at Hype Cave, as our other big item caves have been horrible. Yeah, is Hype Cave actually gonna live up to the hype? No. No. Does it ever, though? No. I'll shovel. And, oh, <laughs> is that Fed Quest? That's Quest Cave. Hey, half magic from Sick Kid. Very nice in Anonymizer. Very nice in general. Probably do a quick let a mushroom turn in. Although, when I play Animizer, one of the first things I really want to see super early is either Burnout or Cape. That's honestly one of my favorite items find in Animizer because it's usually one of the items I use the most in the mode. That makes sense, because yeah, there's no telling what kind of wacky enemy combinations this game will throw at you. Yeah, I mean, just spikes alone being in tight corridors that you can't get past without being completely destroyed, that's it's frustrating. So an invincibility item is definitely something I want super early. Oh man, Hype Cave was horrible. Oh, Hype Cave once again proven to be trash. And the snitch sending out the guards. Uh, they call the cops on Zelda for kidnapping Zelda. And our smiths turn in a lot of money for Big Toby. Hopefully that takes them over to Big Zora to get their flippers as well as their moon pearl. Just 10 arrows off the smith. Oh, sorry for the bomb jump, but no bombs. Oh, that happened to Logic as well. Okay, um, what is on Desert Pledge? Hang on, where is the items? I'm gonna get a look at what our Meyer medallion is here, as well as, um, what our, uh, what is in Meyer Shed. Don't have that mirror, so we won't be seeing what's in Checkboard Cave yet. Looks like, like quick over up Meyer. Uh, this C is called, dude, where's my progression? Yeah, we do have Dark Death Mountain, as Boron's uh, pointing out. There's that bottle for logic, so they can get their half magic. Although, not something they're going to want to see currently, I'm sure, as a sword would be much nicer. Uh, no Agina check for either of our runners, however. Everyone hates Agina until he's got a progression, and then we hate him even more. I do not, because Agina and I share a name. <laughs> well, spelling. And we're both old and grumpy. <laughs> Big Toby farming up some bombs with that prize pack. It right, looks like we're heading to Skull Woods. I hate Skull Woods so much. <laughs> I just really do. There's some spikes, several spikes, because Skull Woods isn't horrible enough. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. Now, I don't think the red Igors are actually red in Enemizer. I could be wrong. I might uh, be wrong. I think you, you can kill them with a sword. Okay, you, you would know more than I would. I'm not uh, much of a Enemizer player. It has been so long since I played an Enemizer. I can't remember, but I, I think 
you can kill the Igors without the bow, if I remember correctly. Uh, green Igors, definitely. Uh, I know red Igors, I think. I'm pretty sure the bow can only kill them. Toby gonna get their mitts from the back of escape. Still, you need to remember Zora. Hey, there's either. We have two medallions that we probably don't need. We're still looking for Quake to get into Mire. Ooh, that's uh. Th those big spike things, I have no idea what they're called. Oh, it's, it's coming from the trees! Now, this Skullwood's room is very interesting. So there is a full magic refill behind a bomb wall in the next room. But if you have too many sprites, it will despawn. Oh, that is a beautiful place for that, that skull guy to be chilling. Wow, what is happening what? with that? <laughs> <laughs> That's awful. I've never seen it glitch like that. Yeah, I don't think Stealthos Knight knew what he was doing. We're getting some Aginala from Toby. Right into a Beemos, my goodness. There are like Beemos everywhere. It's like a theme. It's the Beemos and Mini Helma seed. Yeah. Spikes, Mini Helma, and Beemos. That's all we've basically seen. Oh. oh. Okay, so Logic just heading back into Dark Cack, not going to give a look at what is on Bumper Ledge. Not important at the moment as we don't have that cape, but Ooh, we're going to get a purple chest turn in. I think Toby's considering his options. Oh, Toby, you need to go to Zora. That, that getting kicked out of fake flippers was the worst absolute spot for Toby to lose his fake flipper. Yeah, that was just completely unfortunate. Oh, fake Toby goes all over the stairs just to jump right off. Oh, progression's gotta be somewhere. Yeah, and you know the gross thing? Um, pod and the whole right side of the dark world is open because we have those flippers. So our only portal could very well be Kakariko Village, and you have to do that walk all the way over. Oh, uh, that's always the best. Yeah, Smith Chain. All of our fetch quests were crap. Smith, Purple Chest, Shovel, Mushroom. They were all nothing. How, they, you they missed that chest, dude. What? Did you see that? Yeah, you, I saw that. You got a chest right there, my man. Okay. Um. That's interesting. I don't think there's anything in, uh, important there, because Cat Creek was pretty dry, but still. I think it was a full heart, and that's, that's, what? <laughs> that's bold, dude. Okay, Super Bunny has nothing. Let's take a look at what is in Hookshot Cave. Well, oh. we do know he'll, Logic will have a nice can of Mario waiting for him, so whenever he can unlock, uh, Meyer, you'll be able to get that as well. Yeah, the chest was nothing, but that's not the point. There's Bombos. We can open T-Rock uh, once we get the hammer. Yeah, we can do that opening check in the um, front CR. Absolutely gross. Nope. No thank you. Oh, 
Do they have a gentleman's agreement to skip chess just to spite me? Oh, uh, well, that's my for the game. All right, both ways. Okay, he's getting it. <laughs> oh, my lord. It looks like Big Toby is going to Super Bunny glitch his way into the aptly named Super Bunny Cave. Hey, there's Mir. Don't forget where your Smaria is. Yep, yeah, he remembers. I'm sure Logic would just kill for a sword right now. That is the cutest anti-sprite ever. Alright, looks like Logic is saying no to that uh, first check in TR. But gonna be able to do Hera here. While it is a pendant, it is our green pendant, so that takes our count from two to three items, which is a little bit more appealing, especially because we have the hookshot. You can't kill Moldorm. I don't know what I'm talking about. Oh, we don't even know if it's Moldorm. There's our Wait, silvers. silvers. Uh, yeah, I'll take that. Doesn't solve the problem in the hand, but it's nice to have. I think he's just completely just it's just completely gone out of his mind right now. What, uh, Zora? Yeah, the Zora area. I mean it might come back. It's one of those things like this this moment he's gonna forget it now, but he is never ever ever going to forget it again. These are one of those teachable moments. We've all had them playing this game. Some of us have had several of them. Like for instance, last night I uh, powdered Bob in Ganon's tower, dropped my bomb, said, oh, I should get these arrows and walked out without getting the chest. So that chest will forever be unknown to me in a cross keys. Uh, speaking of Gans Tower, another like major teaching moment. I think almost everyone's done at least once. Going up Gans Tower with only with uh, not enough keys. Yep, you only do that once. You only despawn the tower once. I've done that. They, you just don't, you don't find out until you get to uh, right before Moldorm. Oh crap! I forgot keys. Okay, Toby is on the right track. Set up your water walk here and continue. There you go. All right, Toby's got it. Toby's back in the game now. Good, 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 good. They got the money. They're going to get all of the things. Oh, this is a dangerous bomb jump because of that enemy there. You can just, just hook across and then bonk. There you go. Although, I wonder if Toby's going to turn tail after that pearl. We'll see if he follows through to Zora. I would imagine. I don't I don't think he's going to leave, uh, because yeah, that would yeah, be yeah. the second time he orphaned Zora, because he didn't go up and check um, when they, he was here, because he didn't have the money. So he's definitely going to check it now. Ooh, Vitreous in Moldorm's arena. But he's got silver, so nice and easy. Yeah, this is, this is Etomizer, so it's not going to be Moldorm. There's Bull just walking in. Yeah, I, I'm convinced neither one knows that if you get the compass, it'll tell you who the boss is. I think that's a relatively effect. new feature, isn't it? I don't know. I think that was added within like the last half year or so. Might have been a little bit longer than that. Did I not say Vitreous? I don't know who I said. Okay, and there is the green pendant. 
for logic. Only boss beatable right now? Uh, no. Uh, there's a few that are beatable with the yeah. current item setup. Oh, yeah, there's a good bit we can be beat. Um, especially with Samaria. Uh, because you can be blind with Samaria. Um, you can beat Helma with bombs. Uh, you can beat. Um, you can beat You can beat pretty much anything. I don't. Maybe not. I don't think you. I don't think you can kill Argus, or if you can, it'd be really weird to pull off with just bombs. I would never, ever, ever do bomb Argus. That just sounds horrible. But there's going to be some crazy person in chat that does it now, and I, wonder, I will be here for that clip. I wonder if I'm the first person to ever speak bomb Argus into existence. Bumberlet. Oh, Bumberlet is the fuck. <laughs> well, at least we're probably going to get the, uh... The cave. We have desert open as well. Kind of. Somewhat. We don't have fire. Oh, uh, uh, Gorn 1988. Looks like, uh, Logic might have a Forsaken hair basement. We don't have a fire source. Uh, yeah. Never mind. Hey, three bottles. That's pretty nice. Safeties are always welcome at Anomizer. Yeah, especially when you don't have a sword. Oh, uh, where did uh, Toby found his sword in Eastern Big Key Chest, right? Yep. Yes. Three swords in GT, huh? That uh, that sounds like uh, beautiful. No one checked hobo yet either. Oh, Toby's getting bullied by the uh, moblins in Thieves Town. Man, this game is this seed is just very stingy with progression. Absolutely. I guess you would you would call it rude, right? That this feels like a pretty rude seed. Yeah. Yep. Without a doubt. Oh, is that an intentional death of Hinox, or was he? Just unfortunate. I think he was trying to death warp and forgot they had a fairy. Although, I feel like I would have went further in a thief's song. Yeah, I feel that. I mean, but it's easy for me to sit here and say that I'm not playing. Oh, the red, red boomerang. The superior boomerang. You are incorrect. I always laugh at it. That feels like the most innocuous thing, like this uh, community likes to pretend to fight over. I'm not pretending. You're wrong. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. The only time I care if I even have a boomerang is when I don't have the hookshot. Other than that, I really don't use it for anything else. Uh, there's a couple situations I like to have a boomerang on hand. Uh, the crystal roller room, right before the uh, dark room in uh, Turtle Rock. For some reason I really like having the boomerang for that particular room. But it's, it's incredibly situational, I agree.
Okay, logic's gonna give us our look at. Well, we've already seen. Uh, escape. Yeah, we saw a whole lot of nothing in escape, actually. Saw a whole lot of nothing in the seed. Heck <laughs> yeah. I feel like I cursed the runners. That's right, if you didn't, I would have. I appreciate that. I just feel so bad for Logic not having a sword this long. Ugh. In yeah, we are... That's just evil. Yeah, we're uh, 47 minutes in and we still do not have a sword on his side. So, uh, what do you think of the, is the over-under? We'll see a sword uh, from Logic. Uh, one hour? No, I think we're gonna... It's gonna be at least... I'll say an hour and 20 minutes for them. Might pull a hammer, but I don't think they're gonna get a sword in the next 10-ish minutes. But they have, they have silver arrows, so that's not completely unfortunate. I mean, at least they do have a permanent weapon. Oh, Goron's the reason this seed is crap. He, he claimed it, so that's fine. That's a whole lot. We'll offload all our problems on him now. Uh, Logic heading over to Pod? Nope, Hobo Jack first. Yeah, I mean, there's not much more logic can do other than head to pod. <laughs> Ew, uh, Toby's gonna be able to go in Ice Palace. Oh, that's something. Logic yeah, can't because they do not have a sword to use Bombos with. It won't be able to clear Ooh, it, but yes. he'll... A small, a small, a small palace dip as well. That's, that's gross. Yeah, I mean, we don't have any dungeons that we could essentially full clear. I mean, I feel like Thieves Town would probably be our best bet, and that's a pendant. Oh, uh, Logic is opting not to turn in that uh, pendant. I'm noticing on uh, Toby's side, it looks like his um, sprites are a lot more smoothed out than what I'm used to. Yes, yeah, so you can actually do that inside uh, the game, like when you open uh, whatever program you use to play it on your computer. Um, don't want to say it, but um, yeah, that is a setting. Okay. Okay, let's take a look in pod. I like the look of it, but the only thing that's throwing me off is I'm seeing the um, shadow is rounded out, which a lot of my glitches, I usually rely on Link's shadow for confirmation. Like yeah. stuff like uh, Icebreaker and like PBJ. Still looks pretty nice though, besides that. Alright, so Pod having all those keys first off. Now we're gonna see some action, hopefully. Uh, Pod, all, all the keys are in the front, all the items are in the back.
I guess technically Pod isn't bow locked because the enemies are not there, so it's not this side isn't technically bow locked. That's not even sword locked. Yeah. Right? Here a dip for big Toby as be careful. There is that bow. Okay, this uh, crumbling bridge room, anytime I play Enemizer, is always horrible for me. I hope I not curse the runners. No, if you do, we'll just, we'll, uh, Gore1988 is already taking, uh, he already oh, claimed it, no. chat. Oh my gosh, there's a hand in pod. That is my worst nightmare. I've been grabbed getting ready to drop down into Cold Stairs room in Ice Palace before. I have such attitude with the, uh... <laughs> it's so awful. Alright, so, uh, if anyone's curious, um, if you saw Logic get hit by that rat, uh, which did a good chunk of damage, in Animizer... The rats and the little cricket enemies in Thieves Town share. The, I don't know the exact uh, science behind it. Oh, there's Fire Rod and Pod. Nice. That would mean the Fire Rod is lantern locked, then, right? Yeah. So I'm assuming Lamp is probably either in Ice Palace or. Um, well, no, because we need that sword. So I'm going to say Thieves Town. Is where our lamp is. Ooh, that's unfortunate. I think they have a fairy. They do not. Ouch. But that's not horrible to get back to. No, it's not, but still unfortunate. It looks like Logic is hedging their bets on that being on the info. Looks like they're going to do that green pendant turn in. Oh no, Toby doesn't have silvers yet to do Biddy. That's gross. See, I would just get up on the ledge and throw bombs at him. I always visit the upgrade fairy when I play Enemizer, because you need bombs. A lot of bombs, for the most part. Hey, speak, speak of bombs. Gives bombs. Not so harmless hallway, yes. Yeah, Harmless Holloway heard us talking crap about it all these years and decided to take matters into its own hands. Uh, and Toby unfortunately takes a death to uh, Vitreus. <gasps> we admire now. Ooh. Huh. Or no, uh, you still we uh, still need a quick medallion. He doesn't have a sword. Yeah, I was thinking it was Bombos forgetting it was Turtle Rock that was. Where are all of the things? This is frustrating. I'm frustrated for these poor runners. We're going to see a um, desert dip. Well, yeah, we can finish sense. desert now, for the most part, depending on who the boss is. Come on, give, give us something. Lamp could be here, too. I completely rode off desert for some reason. Hey, sword! A sword! Before the one-hour mark. Hey, you win! See, I, be I believed. You're more kind than I am. There's a reason I never agree to be on a restream, and that's because I wish the most vile things for our runners whenever there's a restream. I want it to be a good, fun, exciting race. This is a bit out of hand, though, like with the, the late sword and the late safeties and all that. That's, that's very unfortunate and cruel. 
And the excessive use of many helmets. Yeah. I mean, you kind of expect the rollers and things like that. Um, we're going to get a magic bat check. Okay. I'm for it. Probably cursing that half magic right now, though. Yeah. The only thing you have to use magic with is Samaria. That's unfortunate. Imagine what Toby's doing right now from the perspective of a random Kakariko villager. <laughs> I feel like if this were me in that situation, like I lived in Hyrule and I had the power of magic, I would be doing it constantly. There would be like a law in place against me at that point. So the public nuisance for creating blocks, exploring yeah. blocks everywhere. Yeah. See, see that house with the uh, hammer pegs in front of it. That's where they'd have me. <laughs> I like the choice of logic going straight back to kill the boss uh, before risking. Hey, and it's the boss we can kill um, before risking. Uh, going all the way back over to the right side. Because you have to kill the boss anyway, so if it drops an item, then you've saved yourself some time. But it drops the compass, so no luck today. That's our first crystal on the board, just shy of an hour in. Oh, oh there's our gosh. That was quite a play. That could be pretty advantageous for Toby, because that magic bat's not a check that's high in a lot of people's priority lists. Well, and we have no idea where powder is. That's true, that it, Meyer is out of logic. Poor Toby needs to be careful, though. They, they're playing fast and loose with logic, and while I am all about a good sequence break, you have to remember your sequence breaks, or that really screws you up, and you end up doing a whole lot more than necessary. Because now you can't think of where something, you can't deduce where that go mode item is because you have no idea where you are in the logic. Quaker's on Magic Bat, which Toby did out of logic with the, uh, Samaria, uh, spoof. Yeah, get a little fake powder. Yeah, see, and I, I'm bad about that, because I'm, um... I'm, I'm not good at big-picturing this game. Yeah, you definitely have to be very comfortable with your knowledge of logic, what you have found out of logic, specifically if it is something like progression, such as Quake, with Meyer being our 5-6 crystal. So, I mean, you can go beat Quake. You, I mean, you can go beat Meyer, but your progression probably isn't going to be in Pyramid Fairy because you technically shouldn't be able to do Meyer yet. So, Meyer could be Sphere 12 of the game, but you've done it in Sphere 3. And so you waste your time doing Pyramid Fairy when you probably would have been in go mode by the time you hit Meyer. Like, just things like that. You just have to keep pretty precise tabs on what you get out of Logic. As we saw earlier with Toby trying to do the, the water walk over towards the Waterfall Fairy got knocked out, wasn't able to get their Moon Pearl, and it caused a few minutes of trying to figure out, okay, where do I need to go? Because you've already mentally checked off Waterfall Fairy because you were there. You didn't get both items, but you were there, so who knows? You know, it, you had to go back and try and remember where the logic was. And it was with that glove, going to Zora, getting the flippers, and getting the Moon Pearl. Um, Toby won the Ice Palace with a bail, but he's got a blue potion. Yeah, interesting. I don't know. Who wants to do Ice Palace, though? Gross. We can do the Back of Skull Woods. On Logic's side. Now he's mirroring back to Light World. Oh, okay. Um, it's a little roundabout, but some decent game knowledge. Yeah, if you're ever in need of a uh, magic refill, that uh, tree right outside the Darkwood Portal will always have a 
full magic decanter if you bonk it. Okay, I assume we're gonna go straight into the boss here. I said slightly roundabout way about going for uh, oh, ooh, putting that fire on use. We have cold stare in Thieves Town. Ooh, green potion in the pocket. Gonna pull out that fire rod and kill Cold Stare because Cold Stare sucks and we want to get done with this boss as quickly as possible. Here's our blue pendant. I think it's a blue pendant. It could be the red one. I don't know. It doesn't matter. And Cold Stare was my biggest bully early on in this game. So we did grab an item off the boss. I think we had one or two items in the front, so possibly just one more item left in Thieves Town. One or two. Uh, in any case, looks, looks like Logic's not leaving that chance. I think being able to go straight to the boss and seeing if there is an item there makes it a whole lot more um, tolerable to do Thieves Town without the hammer because you kind of can rule out, okay, if the boss dropped a dungeon item, then mm, maybe hold off, but he dropped an item, so yeah, let's go for it. Ice Palace is not kind today. Not at all. Yeah, that uh, one room had a lot going on. I can probably catch all of it. Can we just give our guys just a burna even? Like, I don't even care if it lags. Just give them something, my goodness. Yeah, we got... I, I can't even, like... So many enemies. All of the things. There's hey, burna. there's burna. Is that... No, I think... There are two. There can't be two more items. No, one more item. Yeah, general. When I'm commentating, I just always assume the uh, racers are keeping better track of their items than I am. I always count items when I'm tracking, but um, I do exist. <laughs> I stream sometimes, but I don't race. I just. Hot crap. That's pretty much what I do. I play Link to the Past badly. I'm, uh... Yeah, I... I, I, I raise. I, I attempt to raise. I should be more specific. Oh, oh uh... no. That's unfortunate. Sorry about that logic. I was really rooting for you too, man. I was like, no, nah, it's not going to be there. It's going to be fine. Was that Sorry. a no buffer icebreaker from Toby? Uh, yeah, it was It was very nice icebreaker. Just, I said, all right, let's do it. That's the one that I used to do so beautifully. And then I broke my thumb and my hand and my right hand and Oh my god! There's another hand. Oh no. K45 just having some arrows today. Oh my gosh. That Wallmaster. Wallmaster and Ice Palace. No thank you. Jinx is getting some Vietnam flashbacks right now. Oh my gosh. It's oh it's awful. Well, and then once I was in Meyer, I was actually playing with Walter the Fourth, and we were we were going, and I ran down from the chest like after you hit the switch, somehow bonked off the wall right backwards into a wall master. It was glorious. There was a clip somewhere floating around. It was it was a colorful day for my verbiage that that day. Logic gearing up for a moth fight? 
possibly. I mean, could have looted for a blue. I think he's uh, blue would cost him one extra, ten, either ten or thirty rupees. I forgot the prices. He's got the money. Don't be cheap. I think it's actually forty. I think it's one sixty. Uh, I thought it was one fifty in the uh, for the red potion. Okay. Oh, red potion is one twenty, isn't it? I don't know. I'm not paying attention. Oh. oh gosh, no, Toby. I'm so sorry. <laughs> yep, Toby's like, no, I'm done. Goodbye. Have a good day, Ice Palace. Everyone thinks it's the Dead Rocks, but I'm telling you, it's the Wallmasters and Enemizer that are the bane of the existence of Link to the Past players. An Enemizer. Yeah, yeah, I would agree with that. Um, in regular modes, though, Dead Rocks are just plain evil. Like if if I ever go to Nintendo's headquarters in Japan, I will I will arrange a meeting with Miyamoto and Aonuma and say, "Hey man, I just gotta ask, why Dead Rocks?" Ah uh, yes, I mean they're cute at least. I mean at least they're cute little little creatures. I want to know why they didn't put in the sprites that shoot the cannonballs. I think they're adorable and I love them. And it's sad that we can only see them in Animizer. That they exist, but they don't exist. Like, that's just sad to me. Uh, everyone, place your bets on who we're going to see in Mothula's room. I said Mothula earlier. I uh, forgot we might not even see Mothula. Oh my gosh, I'm pretty sure we've had wall masters in just about every freaking dungeon. At least they belong here. Mm, they belong nowhere. That's They're all the fair. worst. Also, Lodge is getting bullied by that Hinox. Hinox. Yeah, gonna take a death warp to refill some of their hearts. I don't blame them. You know, I guess uh, he acts is really obsessed with that wall. Uh, yeah, this this seat has definitely been brutal for our runners. Unfortunately, all of the items are buried somewhere. Like, uh, we have no idea. There's just, it's mayhem. Oh, man. That has to feel so awful getting that far, and now you're down to two hearts because just oh, cold stare. Another cold <laughs> stare. No, no place for a cold stare. Oh, that's just oh. fighting cold stare well, in the void. He's gonna. They're gonna get damaged against the spikes, right? Yeah, that's a thing, isn't it? You have to spin, buddy. You can't swing at those. Oh, oh no! God, the seed. I laid the the bee. Oh, that's that's unfortunate. I don't know about you, but I'm having a great time tonight. I really am. I feel so bad. I feel so bad for these guys. A cold stare. A cold stare. Unfortunate. You have to spin attack. Cold stare with fighter sword. You can't damage the eyeballs with starter. Yeah, this I got yeah, this whole scene is just unfortunate. I might throw this into a uh, cursed seeds uh, channel later. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's definitely not. Yeah. Fill up them bottles, man. Get those blue potions. Because this game is not being kind to you. I probably would have filled up a green and went ahead and got one of those before. Let's see if Logic remembers that full magic decanter by the tree on the way up to... uh. Yeah, I feel like... Oh, I don't know, because that's a long way around. 
because he does not have the hammer. Where is the hammer? Let's say I want a hammer. Do you know what a hammer is? That's what I want. A danged hammer. Sorry. I, I, when I'm like, that's a King of the Hill reference. Like Every time I'm on a hammer hunt, that's just going through my mind the entire time. I feel that. Um, I don't even know where all of the things could be. Like, just looking at my tracker here. It has to be in a really awful place. So I feel like Logic is on the right path doing Skull Woods. Um, I don't know. Well, we do have that ever-appealing uh, first chest of Swamp House. Fire Rod is Lamplock, but we have Bombos, and that was in Logic, because it was in the Chicken Hut. And we have... Um, a sword from the torch. So, technically. Oh no, the back of Skull Woods isn't open. Yeah, you're right, Robs. Never mind. See, this is what I was talking about. Know your logic. I clearly don't know mine. Yeah, so this is lamp log. We, I mean, that, that lamp, I feel like the lamp is holding back a lot of logic. Lamp would have to be in, like, the first, the, the second chest of, of Swamp at this point, I feel. <laughs> Although it could be, how far can we get in Ice Palace? It could be in the Ice Tea Room. Which, uh, I think uh, Toby's on his way to when he got uh, Wall Mastered. Oh, and Logic didn't make it to the Harmless Hellway. Because it was uh, not yeah. so harmless. Didn't more like Vicky and Icy there. That's unfortunate. More like harmful hellway. Right. And logic is leaving nothing to chance in this fight. I wouldn't either. This fight is disgusting. At least none of the spikes are moving. That's kind of cool. I think the floor is not moving either. Yeah, no, I think it was a lot better, actually, than it could have been. I also think Logic is more caught off guard than anything that first go-round. Yeah. Big Toby uh, getting their silver arrows, so finally has a little bit more about to pick up their Master Sword. Probably gonna feel pretty good about finding that. I apologize, I have a head cold and it just is progressively getting worse the more I talk. Well, I, I really appreciate you, uh, you know, taking the time to commentate tonight while going through that. It was bottom of the barrel, honey. They didn't have anyone else, so like, mm, I guess we'll just use her. Uh, if you have to, if you're, uh, if you're not feeling up to it, I can... Oh no, I'm fine. I just sound like crap. You all have to struggle through hearing me. Um, Logic did, but Toby didn't have them yet. Thank you, Goron. You're so sweet. Uh, yep. You definitely need a arrow for that, uh... He is in such a gross position. Nothing has been kind in this seed. Nothing. Except for the chicken hut. That's the only thing that was kind to these runners. <laughs> the chicken hut. Hard. Good lord. Kudos to these two. Uh, feel free Definitely give these two racers a follow. Logic and Big Toby, 1982. God knows they've earned it tonight. This is a rage quit seed if I have ever seen one. Absolutely a rage quit seed.
I, 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 I want. Oh, Toby walks into uh, Meyer steps on Rake, gets thwacked in the face. Oh my god, I can't with this scene. <laughs> oh god. Okay, so this is our first look at Meyer. So, uh, this is out of logic. Uh, he found that Quake, uh, or oh, the fake powder. Okay, this is the check I want to see. I want to see what's in this chest. Because I feel like, looking at my notes, this has to be something. Is this the almighty hammer in the second chest of desert of, of swamp? I mean, it, it has to be something. It has to be. Freaking that is has the to dream. be. Now, uh, we know Helma, well, yeah, no, Helma would be in Logic in Eastern Palace. We could have something on pedestal. Because Logic, Logic has that fire rod for the uh, Eastern Palace Dark Room, right? Yeah, but that's out of Logic. <laughs> oh, yeah, because you need a lantern to get to the... Oh, my uh -huh. God. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's, that's more Curse of Logic right there. Okay. Come on. Do it. Oh, my Dude. God. And it's a Godmire. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh, Womp no. Oh. The book is on uh, bumper ledge. We just need the cape for that. We know where it is. We just can't have it. It's 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 got to be ice. The only item locations we have not checked are ether tablet, mimic cave, spike cave, hammer pegs, and bombos tablet. Those are all the things we have left. We can't check those. Grabbing that mail off Hylia Island. I don't blame you, my dude. Yeah, good heads up play because. This seed is out for blood. What is up with that guard? So I saw him like back away and oh then the dance. He's gonna oh. do these dark rooms. Oh boy. Oh. Brace for impact. Saha was just three bombs. Logic turned it in after he went as far as he could. It could be the harmless hell way. Yeah, the green pendant was three bombs. I like don't even want to talk. I'm like, mm. yeah, I'm just more mesmerized by all of this. I feel like the more I talk, the worse it gets. <laughs> oh, you see the first room. Oh, Big Toby sees the, the, the this being a lanternless seed, to which Toby says, I don't care. Screw your lantern. Head technically isn't in logic either. Yeah, I made the uh, same mistake uh, because the fire rod is lantern locked. It has to be here. It has to be. Um. Oh, let's see. Let's see. Mm. Oh, what? What? Like getting a cuckoo? 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 I don't, I don't know how they pronounce. But imagine a swarm of those in the dark. Oh, I played the pottery lottery and I found chickens, like distorted chickens, in uh, Turtle Rock. Two of them. They looked like, like the Dr. Mario pills. Nice. So it happens. It can happen. <laughs> Logic scooting just as he sees that wall master. No, thank you. Pottery lottery is a great mode. I think Toby's almost through. Oh, Logic. You have Erna. 
Yeah, Toby is through the dark dude, rooms of Meyer. I was gonna say, don't bomb jump that, my dude. Don't do that. Okay, now you're good. Oh my gosh. Toby deserves all the praise. He has battled every dark room. Like, that's gutsy. Oh, Wallmaster, not today. Yeah, Toby, like I said, Toby has looked this seed in the face and said, screw your lanterns, I don't need you. Oh, oh he can... No. Yeah, no, yeah, he can do this. He has he has Master Sword. You're good, you're good, you're good. I completely missed what was in Ice Tea Room because I was holding my breath to see what boss he was about to walk into. The big key, of course it was. Okay, so what is in this big chest? Slow and steady, Toby. You got this. Yep. There it is. Alright. Uh, so now... Things have kind of come into place. It had to be. It had to be. Because fire always blocks fire. Okay, so now Logic is doing some of his lantern checks. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's now Ganon, but GG's the big Toby for getting through those dark rooms in Animizer mode. Uh, Bombos was in the chicken hut. Which I think is like the only favor the seed has done anyone. Yeah, but then didn't give them a sword for how freaking long. Yeah, so now the master sword is in logic on logic side. But see, logic still has to find that powder. Which I'm sure we're gonna run into it. I mean, we're down to checks, so. Oh, well, where is that hammer? <laughs> it could be here in Meyer. It could be. Can it? No, no. Powder. Okay. I don't know. They have me so screwed up with logic. <laughs> Yeah, at this point, I'm just along for the ride. I have no idea what's going on anymore. Th this seed has my brain twisted in knots. I don't know where logic is going. I thought maybe he's setting up for a hula ham, but never mind. Maybe checking Dark Cross? Ah, uh, yep. There you go. You need that key. There you go. A little Wait, kamikaze action. Oh my god, Toby doesn't have a fire source. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, no. God, the seed! Not gonna find one in Meyer either. But I guess this goes back to your point about logic, not the player, the game logic. Yeah, you go so far off logic, all of a sudden you've kind of got yourself twisted and not trying to figure out what fits where. Yeah, because like we were able to deduce just by process of elimination that the lamp had to be a nice palace, because there was literally nowhere else the lamp could be because of what we've seen. Ooh. Yeah, key for a key. So yeah, the items are fire locked in Meyer. That's unfortunate. Yeah, I guess, um, yeah, sequence breaks are all fun and good, but like, like, uh, Jinxie was saying earlier, 
You, you gotta keep track of where your logic, your sequence breaks, fall into place in the over the progress of the seed. Because logic, whenever he gets to Meyer, he could be in go mode by the time he gets Meyer, and he wouldn't have to go over to those. He can just take the God Meyer. I don't think the seed's gonna be that kind, unfortunately. No. Although we could still have a hammer and pe in, in pod. Yeah, that looks, like, that looks like where Logic is headed. I think this could be one of the worst Enemizers I've ever seen. And I play Cross Keys Enemizer, and I have never been this brutally attacked. Like, whoever rolled this seed woke up and chose violence today. Wait, I, I'm about to forfeit. <laughs> right? I quit. We should never speak of this seed again at the end of this. Oh no, I'm I'm uh, I'm going to inflict evil upon the world and spread the seed as <laughs> all the places I can. I love it. I mean, like even we're an hour and twenty seven minutes in, and and Toby still doesn't even have a full row of hearts. Logic only has eleven, and we found like fourteen hundred heart pieces. <laughs> Does this? Crazy. Logic at least gonna get their master sword. Some small consolation. Then hopefully Pod has something a little bit more useful, like the hammer. Oh Toby no. Oh uh, there are worse places to die than Thieves Town, but still. Oh, the seed is just... I'm trying to think of a good metaphor for how evil the seed is. I'm like, I'm struggling. It's a plando. That's exactly what it's playing like, is a plando. Like, it's just... Oh my gosh. Are you able to manipulate enemy placement in a uh, Enemizer Plando, or just Adams? I, I don't even know if Enemizer Plando is a thing. I'm just saying, it's playing a lot like an evil child with a magnifying glass <laughs> cooking ants. <laughs> Toby takes another death in the actual hallway. There's a Master Sword for Logic, probably taking a side there. Let's go uh, finish off. Uh, who was in there? Helma. He can't finish off. Oh, he has five bombs. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, my God. Do we know what the stun prize is? Oh, I'm sure we know what the stun prize is. We had hook shots since uh, close to the beginning. I have no idea what the stun prize is. I don't think I've seen it yet. Have we? I don't we, know. We probably have, but I've been just too caught up in... <laughs> I feel like I've blacked family. out several times, so it's hard to tell. Like, I'm gonna wake up tomorrow and wonder if I dreamed the scene. For anybody, just one big... <laughs> for anybody in chat who's thinking about starting to play Link to the Past Randomizer, I promise you, <laughs> this is a fluke. <laughs> it is never, never, never this bad. I mean, it is this bad sometimes. We're going to be really honest here, but please don't, please don't judge if you want to play this game based on what you're watching right now, because this seed is awful. Yeah, this is the exception, not the rule. Right, yes. No! Oh, Which God. logic promptly nopes out. 
I will repeat, if you get the compass and pull down your map, it will tell you what boss you are going to fight. And you can kill Helma with bombs. How many bombs do you need? I think you only need four bombs, don't you, for Helma? Uh, I think Toby had four bombs. He wasn't able to finish it off, so I'm guessing at least five. Oh, the seed. The seed is awful. And the wall masters, they have my anxiety going. Ooh, nice to watch them by five logic bombs. there. Yeah, you know, I, I was talking to Professor Renderer before the game. I was like, you know what? I think I commentate more seeds than I raise in the SG dailies. I'm glad I decided not to come in back out of retirement for this one. Yeah. I think everybody watching is glad they sat this one out. Uh, no, you, you cannot use bombos for uh, Helmuser. Uh, bombs and hammer are the only way to damage his mask. Okay, I want to see what is here. Because I feel like it's got to be something. Oh man, I was expecting powder to pop out of that chest. I'm going to be real honest. I thought it was powder. And that Meyer has our hammer. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I, uh, Gordon brings up a question like, what do we even ask after the scene's done? We just apologize. Like, what can we do to the racers that the scene already hasn't done to them? He's gonna go for Helmo with the eight bombs. Probably feels a little bit more comfortable with that. So I'm guessing then five was not enough. I would have fluted and went to the upgrade fairy. I would have taken 15 bombs in there because there is no way I'm entering Eastern Palace for a fourth time. Not, nope. No, yeah, Logic uh, has pedestal and Logic now. Logic has to go for the pet play. Logic has nothing else Logic can do. Ped is probably powder. Which we talked about how good that sequence break was to uh, Waterfall Fairy pulling that Moon Pearl that could have saved you an Aga trip. What if the big brain play was really... Oh my god, that murder dactyl just freaking came out of nowhere. I'm sorry. That was awful. God. It just came out of nowhere and sniped him. That's terrible. <laughs> this scene has <laughs> chosen evil. This scene has chosen nothing but violence this entire time. Oh my God. It's I'm I'm really looking forward to this interview. This seed is definitely chosen entertainment spirit. Today is our day. Oh, be careful with those bombs, man. Come on. You got this. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, no, I, I thought I Wait, uh, I don't know. See, I don't know if. I don't think Helma requires the hammer. It doesn't. So, Ped would be in logic. Yeah, question mark. Oh, please don't run out of bombs. I can't take it. Oh my god, what if he drops the cape? <laughs> I'm sorry. That was so rude. If it's the cape... Oh, what if it's the cape? Oh, time for Aga. Okay, we're through. Now if it's the cape, then that gives us the book. And then that gives us Bombo's tablet and Ether tablet. Oh, wait. 
You don't have a fire source. To oh basement. god, a piece of art. Oh, for God's sake. It, it's <laughs> ped then. I mean, it's ped. It's ped. It has to be ped. Uh, logic could go to hair basement. Um, yeah, hair basement. Can't do my hair. Hair base. Where is powder? <laughs> That looks like we're going for the pedestal. Are you happy, chat? You got what you asked for. I, although, I don't think anyone in existence asked for this seed. Yeah, no. How many runs do I have in this, in this daily? Let me check. Oh, uh, we got nine total racers. Oh, those poor things. Chat's like, we wanted a pedestal, but not like this. There is like a storm raging outside my house. I didn't even realize it was supposed to storm. There we go. Piece of heart. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> I have no idea. It, it, then it then it's Hera basement. Then it's Hera basement. God bless the seed. Like there, there's blessing. literally, it, it it's her basement. It's her basement, and it, that's not even guaranteeing. Like her basement could be powder. Her basement could be cape, which leads us to the book. Like there's no, it, it has to be something. I mean, just looking, I I'm. Yeah, there's nothing else we can do. Other basement. That's it. Yeah, we need a priest after this uh, scene. If this doesn't hammer, I'm going to throw this controller clear across this room. <laughs> I'm going to be real honest. I'm glad we're not actually in a booth together. That's, uh... Oh my goodness, Logic. I've never seen that before. Logic with the shenanigans. I'm just waiting for a wall master to just come down and snatch him up. It's twirling towards freedom. This is glorious. This makes me so happy. Renderer, did you roll this? Yeah, Render, if you're in chat, uh... Yes, I just saw him pop up. Did you do this? Is this you? Alright, here we go. Bammer! <laughs> yep, had to be. Render oh, should be God. charged. An yeah, th actual th charge. This is a war crime. Oh, and we're still not in go mode. So we're still not in go mode. Still with that we need, powder. We need the powder for logic because Toby got it out of logic with the fake. <laughs> I think you need some time in solitary confinement, my dear Professor Renderer. Okay, so logic gonna go straight to swamp. Yes. Oh, we finally have dark world access besides the cack portal. I know, that's so kind. An hour oh, and forty generous. minutes in. And we're still at Master Sword, mind you. Like <laughs> God. Uh. Every time you think you got the seed figured out, you just like your mind just some subconsciously reminds you of what's going on. I like, I'm, I'm so worked up, I just gave myself hiccups. 
Oh, Toby, come on, make it. Make it, buddy. Don't let the seed continue to push its evil upon the world. Oh! I mean, the good thing is it's Thieves Town, so that's not terrible. It's not horrible to take a death there. Um, it's very easy to get back to. Um, we got the bug net. You can at least get fairy. The seed has been very generous with money. I'll say that. It has given our runners ample opportunities for safeties, as in potions. Yeah, it helps. Yeah, but at the same time, I feel like this that's the seed just being self-aware. <laughs> it knew. Where's Toby going? I don't know. Going back to ice? I mean, they have the flute not getting the red mail. Red mail. Oh yeah, they get that red mail. That makes sense. Like, the seed being what it is. Ten arrows so far in Swamp Palace. Yeah, at this point, logic's leaving nothing to chance doing left side swamp without even checking. I don't blame them. There's still a lot of items out there, like, like the powder, which we need. Uh, while things are a little quiet at the moment, um, feel free to give both our racers, Logic and Big Toby, 1982. It's not on display, but that is part of his name. Uh, give them a follow. God knows they can use support uh, give them after this. Follow race. and condolences. My goodness. Uh, feel free to follow my code commentator Juicy Girl and our tracker Robs. Uh, feel free to give me a follow as well, and uh, follow Speed Gaming, Speed Gaming two, three, four, five, and six for daily link to the past content. And if you're in Europe, there's uh, speed gaming channels for Spanish, French, Portuguese, and German, I believe. Oh, and of course there's a vinyl. Because of course. Hey, Tempest Sword! Nice. And the arrow. <laughs> nice. Well, that Temper Sword is a consolation prize for coming over to Left Side Swamp. You know, with wherever in the world Golden Sword is, you know, you never know. Could be on the big chest, big chest of Yan Sour. That uh, Temper Sword would be a nice find. I would almost cry when I got the Tempered Sword at this point, I would probably be in tears. Just so happy. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so, uh, Logic not going for Diver Down? I wouldn't even have the strength to do it right now. It's big now I'm done. I'm not playing with this seed anymore. I'm gonna play it like it wants me to. It's clearly punishing me for every crime I've ever committed in my life. I'm just I'll do it how you want it done. That's true. If there was ever a seed that made me question like just everything I knew about this game, this would be it. Like when I tell you I have this storm outside of my house that came out of nowhere. Like, it's, it's...
crazy out there. Ah. Okay. Okay. Good, good, good. Does that put logic in go mode? No, ice rod. Oh, God. <laughs> I thought, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we, this completely, game. we completely forgot about the ice bra this entire time. <laughs> oh yeah, no, no, never mind. Because um, you know it's gonna be needed in in Ganon's tower, Robs. Stop it! You know we need it. Know it. He's gonna <laughs> walk into Trinex right here. Oh God! What is Trinex? He can get Quake now. Oh, it's Moldor. Oh, look at him, little three-eyed Moldor. Oh, I, yeah, I, I would not count on this scene to do us any favor, so... Yeah, Ice Rod being needed, I would I would count on it until we be Even until we beat Ganon, I wouldn't count on it. Like, Ganon deploys, like, the anti-torches. They can only be, need to be put out to see him. Oh, where is he from? I guess Ice Palace will be the next, uh, logical step. I feel so bad for Toby. Like, oh my gosh. We should just change the rules just for this race where cheating is allowed and we can be like, Toby, listen, this is where you gotta go, man. Let me help you out. Like, the lamp being buried so deep in a seed this gross is just awful. I've already committed to putting most of this memory, the seed out of my memory. Where was the lantern again? Um, the lamp was in Ice Palace. That's right. Past. Yeah, I'm already repressing the seed. Do those cannonballs turn into sick kids' heads? When Toby was doing the screen transition, did you see that? I didn't. I sneezed. I'm sorry. I started sneezing and I couldn't see anything. Yeah, like the cannonballs all turn into the kid's head. Like, God, what is wrong with this seed? Atomizer does things. The atomizer is the stuff of nightmares, okay? It happens. It's fine. No, it's not fun. I'm tired of pretending it is. I mean, did you ever watch the credits when they get to the castle and it's just it's a hot mess of just bad science experiments hey, the okay. cape that opens the book so hopefully logic checks magic bat before he follows that breadcrumb all right helmster is dead I think we need GG's in the chat for every single boss fight in this scene, because every single one is an accomplishment in and of itself. Every single boss kill is a victory against adversity. I agree, Balthazar. I do love Moldor. Like, Helma and Moldor are my two favorite bosses in the game. I just think they look the coolest. And uh, I love multi-eyed Moldor. Except one-eyed Moldor, he freaks me out. I don't like when he's one-eyed. Now, what did, I, I think I remember reading somewhere once. There's like something in the data that determines how many eyes Moldor has. Oh, probably. I don't know. It's probably like the same as bag of blue balls. We all deserve GG's for surviving this seat. Yeah, like I said, every single boss kill is a victory against adversity.
And we've only found one shield. That's interesting. Like, we pretty much have all item knowledge sans the ice rod. That's the only thing we don't know. The ice rod in one bottle, I think. Oh, and a sword. Listen to me, I'm like, oh, we know everything. No, we don't. Where did the, the fire rod is in the uh, dark room uh, just to the north of Harmless Hellway. In like the anti fire fairy rupee room here in Pod. Which I, I think Toby's gonna get it. Toby has like not backed down from a single dark room in this game. Like that hands down is skill. I mean, a lot of the top tier runners don't risk dark rooms in Enemizer because madmen do that. It's crazy. It's it's tough. And Toby has just gone for it each and every time. That's right, Toby. You are a madman. In the best way possible. Look at Logic just casually taking down all these dungeons now. Two hour boot start and a miser. How about that? And we're not even in go mode. Oh, I forgot that wall master's in here. Oh, no. oh my. For lag. Oh, yeah, you did turn off silvers. Uh huh. I never turn off silvers. I am not about that life. I don't even think I knew you could. Yeah, on the bow, if you hit both the left and the right toggles on the Switch controller, it will shut off silvers. You can toggle between regular and silver arrows. Uh, Just like you can time? between the, uh... Oh, we got all the time. The flute and the, uh... Shovel. Sorry. I'm lagging, too. Oh, <laughs> that dead gator! He said, not today! <laughs> you better not stand still, man. There are wall masters in this dungeon. You move. Keep going. And there's Toby's fire rod. He's gotta feel good about finding that. Unfortunately, I think it's gonna take him back to Meyer. Because both items were fire locked in Meyer. You cannot do the same with the swords because the sword is technically not in the items menu. It's like a perma item. Like boots, gloves, moon pearl, flippers. Oh, yeah, Lambo here? I do believe once upon a time they had the swords where you could pull like the butter sword and then pull the starter sword and it would switch. I don't know if that's true or an urban legend, but I know once upon a time swords were progressive. Like you could get them as they were. Like you would find a specific type of sword. Uh, I think that's the way our forefathers played Rando. We had a Moldorm in Ice Palace, didn't we? I believe so, yeah. Dude, there is a Trinex, if not two Trinex, in Ganon's Tower. <laughs> oh lord, please let us get Trinex on ice. So we've had two Moldorms, two Cold Stairs. Uh, Vinny, yeah, I'm telling you, we need that ice rod. Looks like, uh, Logic's going for Trigger Rock. Still doesn't have Quake. 
No, he needs Quake for Meyer. Yeah, but that's why he's going to Turtle Rock. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, I guess focus on a dungeon you could potentially clear versus overall checks. That's a good idea. Listen, he just gotta be happy. Oh my gosh, I can do a dungeon. Yep, going right back to the Firelock Meyer side. Oh no, doing desert. Yeah, you got fire now. Go for it, dude. I mean, I guess the Firelock side could have another sword? Um, yeah, or could have the Ice Why? What? Why? What's happening, Toby? What is, oh, what is he that? Stealing the key? There's no need. These poor runners are just so done. I'm I'm waiting for the surprise try next. Alright, we're about to hit the two hour mark. Uh, Logic is an ice potential, possible ice rod away from Goba. As things stand, assuming no Trinax, Logic is, well, he has access to his Go Mode item, but he is not in Go Mode yet. We know his Go Mode item is either in Magic Bat. Oh, that was so close. oh man, Wallmasters in Turtle Rock. <laughs> Do you have a friend that wants to play Rando? Do you hate that person? <laughs> Give him this seed. If you or a loved one's been exposed to this seed, you may be entitled to financial compensation. <laughs> That's more like it, yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh, the anti fairy is so cute. What is that? It's a Korok. Oh my god, I love that. Well, see, now I got to use this sprite for cross keys so that I can, I can uh, bunny walk with that adorable sprite. So well done to whoever did that sprite. I used to experiment with sp sprites, but ever since someone like, uh, the drummer of my favorite band of all time is a sprite in this game, so I'm just not giving that up. That's fair. Before that, though, I played with the uh, Hornet from Hollow Knight sprite. That was a lot of fun. Now, this is for sure my new sprite, man. I'm stealing. I'm stealing it. Very well done. Just the people that make these sprites are so freaking creative, man. Just absolutely amazing. Gotta hit the switch. Meanwhile, CV Maniac is just intent on spraying more evil into the world with uh, their suggestion. 
I mean, it wouldn't surprise me if they could. I think you just moved too fast. Oh, it. there's an ice rod in Meyer. That's that fire rod. I probably meant ice rod. That could be a problem for Logic, because if Logic is not remembering all of the bosses he's seen, he's going to be in for a rude awakening when he hits that tower. So, good call by, uh, Toby to come back here. Hey, there's another shield. Oh yeah, this room just loses almost all its teeth in, uh, Animizer mode. Not the only room in Animizer that loses its teeth. You can't even go into the chicken hut most of the time. I think I remember one time I was playing Animizer and the chicken house was all red guards. I'm just like freaking the hell out. Uh, at this point, kid, Laser Bridge even really have anything interesting? I guess it doesn't have to have a key. Um, no. Other than the last sword and shield, that's all we're missing. We know where everything else is. Yeah, you take that safety door, Logic. You... Five bucks. Uh, the red boomerang is actually on Pyramid. I know all of the things. <laughs> I'm a nerd and I write it all down. That is probably something I should, uh, unless I should take the heart. Except for the seed. The, the sooner I can forget the seed, the better. I feel like I'm the only one in the community that has specially made sheets that I keep track of everything on because I am obsessive compulsive. But they still only have 12 hearts. Logic still only has 12 hearts. Toby only has, what, 10? Yes. Oh my god. They're all in Ganon's Tower. This is so stupid to see. Yes, use that powder so you remember that you have it. Important. All right, place your bets. Is this Trinex? I'm waiting for it. I'm waiting for it. Okay. It's blind. There is Trinex in GT. Absolutely. At least one Trinex, if not two, in GT. I'm telling you. Uh, maybe get everyone's uh, favorite ballet Trinex on ice. Where does Logic go from here? Does he follow the book, or does he follow the or the cape, or does he follow the powder? <laughs> He's gonna grab the book and check the powder on the way. That's my theory. No, we haven't seen a Mothula yet. We've had... Eastern Palace was Helmet, Desert was Armos, Tower of Hera was Viddy, Pod was Lammo, Thief's Helm was Cold Stair, Skull Woods was Cold Stair, Swamp was Moldworm, Ice Palace was Moldworm, Meyer was Argus, and Turtle Rock was Blind. Oh, I completely forgot Spike Cave existed. I'm surprised he did Spike Cave here instead of getting the book first and comboing Spike Cave with Ether Tablet. Yeah, that's a good point.
Hey, there's our fourth bottle. And Cold Stare is just giving Toby the business today. Twitch Toby says, not today, Satan, and refills his health magic. Okay, he's falling the powder. Good, good, good. That's that's still not good. He needs that ice rod in Meyer. I'm telling you, I will put a bet on it. Uh, what you got? I I don't think we can start a poll. Uh, can we? No, I'm not that talented. Or motivated to be completely honest. I'll ask about that because I would love to be the person who just like does random polls. Here's a poll. Should Professor Render be charged criminally for this seat? See, I agree. Now, see, Ren usually rolls some pretty decent seeds. Slightly trolly, but nothing like this. This was above and beyond. Especially that ice rod being firelocked in Mire. So Logic thinks he's in go mode, and he's not. Because I'm telling you, that ice rod, I have never not done an Animizer, and Trinex has not had his ugly self up on top of that tower. I'm, I'm saying it. Ah, some interesting stuff done to the spike sprites. Definitely going in with fire, but about to pull a godmire, so that is troubling. Because I think the lore of the godmire is going to suck him in, and I don't see him going back into mire after this. Uh, Toby is just unleashing a seed's worth of aggression on Cold Stare right there. Wonder if maybe uh, Toby's gonna go for the pet play. It's right here. Toby did the back of Thieves Town. Yeah, so did I. Oh no, he doesn't have Bernie yet, so no, he didn't do the back. Oh, died in the hallway. Thanks, Robs. That's right. Well, he has silvers for it now. Uh, so our three swords that we know of so far, one was in Eastern Palace, one was in Desert Front, and the other was on Swamp Left. I'm not sure what he was waiting for the Dead Rock on. Oh, 
All right, we are getting close to the end. Once Logic kills, uh, who's the boss of? It's Mordorm. And this is Argus. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Nicely done on that quick kill. Alright, uh, I'm assuming we're heading up to Gans Tower now, so everyone get your guesses in the chat for the big key guessing game. Uh, enter number 1 through 22, we'll see how many checks it takes to find the big key for Gans Tower. Or, if the seed truly feels like being evil, you might have to put an interruption on that uh, Ice Rod Hunt. Or put an interruption on the Big Key Hunt for an Ice Rod Hunt. And wouldn't that just be special? Absolutely. Now, this is where I start to feel a little guilty, because I usually vote for 22 for Chaos, but I feel like our Chaos quota has been met and exceeded. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, anyone who's uh, listening to me commentate, I always root for 22, but I am... I'm going to pull my punches here. I'm going to go for 12, because that's typical. Now, I'm going to go... I want to say nine, but he already said it. All right, I'll go for 12 then. I'll take 12. Is uh, looks like Big Toby didn't technically walk up to the Master Sword, and that was interesting. Yeah, that was the first time I saw that. That was pretty interesting. Even the game just like I don't care. Here's your prize. Game's like whatever, close enough. Will we see a Trinex at the top of this tower? Uh, there's someone holding up abomination here in Ken's tower. Oh I'm assuming, no! <laughs> I'm assuming that's a Gibdo. And a Wallmaster. Yep, you guess right. And of course, the vanilla Wallmaster would be there too. Toby about to get their hammer. Hey, the mirror shield. Alright, so nothing in compass room. Well, I thought it was a full right. I thought it was. But I, I, I'm a big fan of full right, but I only play cross keys, so. Oh my gosh, is the Wallmaster going to be through the entire tower? Oh, oh yes, God. please. Oh. Well, 
I, got, I heard the noise of the pot falling and I thought Wall Master's on its way again. Hey, there's a golden sword. So the good news is, whenever we eventually make it to Ganon, he's going to go down easy. Oh, that's, that's rude. I have the full item knowledge. I have a bingo. I'm so excited. This rarely happens. Typically only in cross keys do I ever get it to happen. Never in an open. What you got? Everything. I have full knowledge of where every item in the game is. Oh my god. The Wallmaster is all through this this tower. What was that? The the Wallmaster is coming in every room. Oh, this is this is beautiful. All right, is it gonna be a randomizer room? All right, <laughs> we might we might be uh, inbound to a boss. Let's see what we won. Ooh, Big Toby narrowly avoids the Wallmaster on his way back to Pod. Oh, I'm waiting for that wall master to strike at the worst possible moment. Nope, there it is. Darn it. It's what, 18? I don't know. Hey, I've uh maniac. Yeah, that was eighteen. Now the real question is, are we gonna get Wallmasters on the way up? Absolutely we are. And we're also gonna get Trinex. You mark my words. And if someone watched somebody else and knows, don't spoil it. I wanna see I'm right. Yeah, if it if it is Trinax, I'm logic. I I just be happy we're not gonna have, we we don't have uh, face cans because I would just break down crying. This <laughs> Jinxie unfortunately has been the victim of Trinax and GT on more than one occasion without an ice rod. Typically in, uh, at least it's just the room past the anti-fairy, which isn't much better than it being in Mulberm 2, but still. Okay, so I don't think the wall master can be in the gauntlet, but I think after the gauntlet, it's going to show up. Oh, even better. You say like it's a bad thing. 
Although if they take out, yeah, there's no BMOS. So it's a possibility there could be a wall master in placement of the BMOS, I guess. Toby taking out, uh, where are we? Finishing out a pod. Finally got that hammer out of uh, Tower of Hera. Okay, if there's Trinex, we'll know right now. Okay, it's not Trinex. It's Argus. Something weird happens to the game when there's a Trinex in this room. His shell is in the Antifairy room and it kind of stays forever. Oh, I th yeah. think you only have to kill the eyes. I think the door opens once you kill all the eyes here. Or it's it's either that or it's when you break. Yeah, I think it opens when you get the eyes. Or it did, yeah. You don't have to completely kill Argus. So, uh, nope out to Argus. Am I going to have to eat my words that there's no Trinex in this tower? I bet there was one behind Ice Armos. Oh, the logic's in a... <laughs> Moonwalking down the oh, stairs. Unfortunately. Man, these mini Helmos. Can Trinex be on uh, Moldrum 2? I don't think. Maybe. I don't remember. I I think the arena might be too small. But I mean, the seed is evil, so I'm sure they'd shove him in. There is always a spike there. Always. always. It's because the uh, the seed thought, you know what? This has been a terrible time. What can I do just on the way out to make this even worse? Again, Walter is my buddy when it comes to cross keys. We used to play cross keys constantly together, and there was one time I had to, I, I just quit. Uh, because I did not have the cape or burna, and there was that spike right there, and I couldn't get past it. So I was like, nope, done, quit, left. Oh, unfortunate. That's, unfor that's a blue potion burned, too. Oh yeah, you gotta move fast in this spike room, and that's that's what's awful. That you have that spike that is right in a position where it just barely hits you. So you're knocked off 1,622 times before you get those slid. God bless the seed. And when I say that, I mean it needs an exorcist. Uh, Big Toby is opting not to go over the left side, so he will miss that tempered sword. Toby's done with this seed. He's he's go moding it. He's like, yep, there it oh, is. Oh, that. <laughs> uh huh. Yep. Oh, nice. That's a uh, refill there. Well, not really clutch, I guess, but you need to move, dude. Those wallmasters aren't playing. And that was, pro that was probably intended to be a bonk. I'm not sure what else he could be looking for in those. Oh, maybe Ice Rod. Oh, it's just a Mothula. Okay, why well, loot? Oh, his job. I was like, there isn't. Is there a Wallmaster in that room too? 
I didn't think that was possible. What if there's a wall master? Well, not that you would you're in much danger of falling off against Makula. But what if there's a wall master in the basement of this room? There can be. Absolutely can be. Yeah, wouldn't that just be the biggest double whammy ever? You fall off the more room trees arena, and you get grabbed by a wall master when you're done there? Like, here's some... And I've almost gotten grabbed by a wallmaster in the room right before the hallway to Agatou. But here's a boss that isn't randomized, Agatou! A, a breathtaking touch of reality. There had to have been a uh, Trinex in the uh, Ice Armos room. There had to be. There was not a single Trinex in this entire game. And one Mothula. Alright, it's on to the pig as big to- Oh my gosh, the wind is blowing so hard outside my house. I think my mic might even pick it up. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, let's see, Toby gonna finish off Ice Palace and then head up to TR. Alright, it has been a hard, long fight journey to here. Everyone, give Logic your energy. Like, spare your energy Dragon Ball Z style. Just give it to Logic so he can end this. Ooh, nice, uh... Uh, sliding right between those bats. Oh my god, calm down on teleports. Uh, I'm missing torch glitch, but it's, he's got silvers, it's all good. I actually prefer not to have the torch glitch when I have silvers. I feel like I can control Ganon a lot easier. Yeah, that makes sense. I, I tend not to prioritize it, because it's, it's so easy anyways. Ooh, that was close. The pig is roasted! It's been a long, hard fought trip journey, but he has finally done it. Get your GGs in the chat for logic. Oh, and our restreamer letting us know that unfortunately we have to cut stream at 10 to 10 because we have a multi world coming up. Um, so we'll have time for short interviews, um, hopefully with logic. Um, unfortunately, might not be able to talk to Toby, but, um, yeah, get your GGs in chat. That was something. God knows Logic earned it. They all earned it, honestly. This, this seed was insane. And, you know, huge shout out to Toby. Like I said, Dark World, Dark World, Dark Rooms in Enomizer are no joke. There are veteran runners who do not attempt them and he just did not back down from any of them and did it very very well so definitely big ggs to toby um 
for his wonderful performance. There's what I was talking about, the abominations that happen at the end um, there at Hyrule Castle. God bless Animizer. Just had to get one more nightmare for the road. That looks evil. Ooh, we have logic in the booth. GG's logic. GG logic, how are you feeling right now? GG. Uh, do I want to talk about how I feel about that seed, or, uh... That oh, man, feel? you couldn't say anything that we didn't say the entire time. That was insane. And Madman Toby, like, took on every dark room, too. And we're all just like, oh my god, you know. And the, the lamp being so late, and the lamp logic, and the fire block. Yeah, oh my gosh. There was nothing good or redeeming about this seed. I mean... My routing was a complete disaster. Like I kept trying to get around. <laughs> uh, like I, I pulled, I cleared every pendant dungeon. I pulled ped. Ugh, it was just a mess before everything finally opened up when I, when the lamp turned out to be in Hera basement. I had the lamp, the hammer. Like there was probably a good way to clear that seed, but judging by everyone else's finish times, nobody, <laughs> nobody found it. No, no, and honestly. Every single item, like, item, not heart piece, obviously, was found in the game. Like, I can tell you exactly where each and every item was in this game. That's how much exploration you guys did. And we only had two runners on Restream. Between the two of you, I know where everything is. <laughs> where was the ice rod? That was the only thing I was worried about after that I... That was on Firelock Misery Mire. Oh, okay. Because after... Yeah. I, I kind of, I was, it was late enough already and I just kind of wanted to finish. I was like, okay, well, there could be a Trinex out there still. Could be a Trinex at the end of Misery Mire. Could be a Trinex in, uh, I guess it was at Ice Armos because I think that's the only place it could have been. And I think full boss, yeah. boss shuffle requires there to be one of every boss. I'm, I'm not really 100% sure. That's what I was thinking too, like, because I kept track and we had two Mold Arms and two Cold Stairs, which I think negated one or two of the, uh, Trinex is showing up, obviously, in the overworld because we did see every single boss in every single dungeon, um, and I, I think it would definitely be behind Ice Armos. Um, unfortunately, we won't know. Thankfully, we don't know. Uh, your key was number 18, but, I mean, it could have been worse, I guess. Although not by much. I was getting really scared. <laughs> it's like, oh no. Because if I had to drop down there, I'm pretty sure the way full boss shuffle works is that there has to be... Like, there's... You know, a one of every boss plus one additional copy of three bosses for the three that are in GT. So, yeah. uh, there would, if I had already fought every, all the, got all the pendants, so there would have had to have been a Trinex somewhere in GT at that point, all the crystals and all the pendants. Uh, so if it was in, if I, if the key was behind Ice Armos, then I would have had to have fought Trinex somewhere, and then I would have had to go on and look for the Ice Rod. But if it was, the key wasn't behind Ice Armos, and that's where the Tranex was. That's kind of just what I was gambling on at that point, because the Ice Rod just wasn't showing up. Nothing was showing up, to be <laughs> honest. Nothing showed up for quite some time. I was pretty sure for a long time that the lamp was in the first chest of Swamp, and I was just trying to get around it, because uh, I kind of forgot that I could get in deep into... I thought I thought the Ice Rod was... or the Fire Rod was locking me out of Ice Palace... Then I remembered I had Bombos, and that's when, when the lamp showed up. I was like, oh yeah, I could get in here with Bombos, so I guess that... But, uh, anyway. I was all out of ideas for a lot of the mid-game. Yeah, like, yeah, we were I definitely... Go? <laughs> Listen, I handwrite every single thing in this game. I have every item location written down, what we find, where we find it, and all of that. I was running out of ideas of where your logic could be, to be completely honest, and I had it in front of me, so... Yeah, that was, there There wasn't really any nice way to route that seed. I mean, you guys both did the fake flipper. Unfortunately, Toby had a heart refill, so was uh, kicked out of Waterfall Fairy, which kept him from his Moon Pro for a while, um, especially with flippers being vanilla. You know, that was gross. The whole, you have to beat Tower of Hera to come back to do the fire lock to get your hammer. Like, it was just a whole lot of crap. Oh, I felt like galaxy brain when I when I went there and I got the moon pearl and then I went over, because I had exactly 500 rupees, and then I went over and I saw the flippers and I just laughed. Like... <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, and then Real you stickers. finally get your powder, and then you pull the cape, and I'm like, oh my god, he's going to follow that book because <laughs> you know, book was on bumper ledge because of course it uh, was. At that point, I was, you know, I was, I was done with fetch quests at that point because I had done the shovel and the mushroom and the pet and everything, and it's like now I. I, I I knew I still had that item in in Hera basement at that point, uh, so I was I was trying to just clean up everything I could. Uh, God, I don't know. I don't know. Actually, I don't remember exactly when you're talking about. When it was when I was looking for Quake. Yeah. So what actually happened? Toby did a fake powder and got that quake so we knew it was behind the powder like, oh. the entire time um so we knew that was what you were looking for and so you pulled the powder so the powder was in swamp palace but the cape you pulled out of ice palace you know right, so it was right. like oh okay. no which bad decision does he want to make <laughs> you know because none of them are good <laughs> okay yeah the, uh when i fluted to three my first thought was, okay, I'm just going to check the powder real quick because it's fast, and then I'll start making all these other bad checks. Yeah, at that point, there were just no good checks left in the game. You know, we had the, the I, I don't know, honor, I guess, of knowing where it was, and we were pretty excited to find that early, and then Toby did go in and take care of Meyer, however, didn't have any fire at that point, made it to the boss, beat the boss, but then couldn't do the left side. So had to go on that hunt to find some type of fire to light that side. But he did end up going back a little early and that's where he pulled the, the ice rod, which was pretty exciting because I was like, oh man. And when I saw you just go, wait, I, it was a godmire. Who doesn't do a godmire, yeah, right? Uh, uh, that was the other thing. <laughs> like, do I look for the ice rod here? I guess that's where it was. But Yeah, it was. I, I mean, it was, I was thinking, I was as I was going in, I was like, do I, do I look for ice rod? Because there's two items in here, but Meyer's such a pain to full clear. And, yeah, and, and the first chest is the big key. I was like, well, you know what? And then, uh, and then I was in the other room and I was like, I'll oh, just check this one chest. And then, okay, okay, you know, it's just a key. I'm just going to go. And if it is, try next at the end, then I'll just mirror back and start clearing and cry. <laughs> it's such a sad seed when the only redeeming quality is you had a Godmire, right? And an all dungeon, Sans Aga 1, which was barely skippable only because there was no cape. There, you know, you didn't have any safety items. So you're walking around with not only spikes, and, and everything else, wall masters in every single dungeon in the worst places possible. Yeah, you know, that is it, something it I didn't get wall mastered once, and I'm really happy about that. And it was not out of any sense of skill, it's just that I was insanely lucky. Yeah, there were a couple near misses. <laughs> I was like, uh, I, I like, there were some loud noises from me that you wouldn't have been excited to have my microphone plugged in that you would not have heard every time a wall master landed two inches away from me or I got hit by an enemy away from where a wall master was about to grab me or something. But let me tell you, it was not intentional on my part. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that is so funny. But unfortunately, we are going to have to wrap it up here. We have a multi-world happening here on this channel. Um, so uh, I guess uh, we'll have some final thoughts and then uh, close it out, pass it on over to Renderer so they can go ahead and get set up for that multi-world. Uh, okay, well, that like in spite of how awful that seed was, I I still enjoyed playing it. Uh, thank you for the restream. And you know, I don't like Enemizer, but the Enemizer part of that isn't what made it bad. <laughs> it was just the seed. <laughs> You're not wrong. Uh, anyway, the, yeah, that's it for me. Thank you very much for the restream, and that was a blast as always. Thanks again for letting us put you on. Big shout out to Toby again for putting on a wonderful show for us and being so brave through those dark rooms. Be sure to give our runners a follow. My co -com, Lucian, thank you so much. It's been a pleasure. Robs, as always, wonderful tracking and great to see you guys. And uh, I think that'll do it for me. So, Yep. Uh, have a good night, everyone. It's been a good time commenting with you too, Jinxie Girl. All right. Uh, everyone, have a great night.